Hello there everybody and today is our 33rd day of going through the Diary of St. Faustina and we are going to be going through journal entries 1,427 to 1,473 today. Such a wide variety of topics are covered in each of these bits that I've broken this book down to, so it's hard to pick one focus for each of these videos because I feel like you can go in so many different directions. But for today, I want to talk about journal entry 1474, and I'll read it to you. She says, I often ask the Lord Jesus for an intellect enlightened by faith. I express this to the Lord in these words, Jesus, give me an intellect, a great intellect, for this only, that I may understand you better, because the better I get to know you, the more ardently I will love you. Jesus, I ask you for a powerful intellect, that I may understand divine and lofty matters. And then in the next journal entry, she says, I strive for the greatest perfection possible in order to be useful to the church. This concept of asking the Lord in prayer for a great intellect is such a wonderful thing. I've talked about this many times on my channel. I think it's so important to know and understand why we believe what we believe and to be able to view our church uh, from a very objective standpoint. That's one thing that I love about our faith. There are many converts who I know, and then also um, I think Scott Hahn was one of them who had this goal of disproving the Catholic Church, and in their findings, they actually ended up becoming part of the Catholic Church because they realized the truths of the faith. And that's what's so cool that um, we don't have to deny science. And even when you read scripture and see these different comparisons between Old Testament New Testament and uh, sometimes when you hear different people break it down and you gain that understanding it can be extremely powerful but I think at first glance when you just take the Bible verse by verse you do not um, always see it the way that it is and how incredible some of the things are and the comparisons that are in there so uh, that's why I think it's so important to be able to be educated and knowledgeable and be able to defend our faith from many different levels and ways of thinking. And as St. Faustina describes, being more knowledgeable about God helps ignite our faith. And when that happens, we grow to love God more. So it's not so much about wanting to be a know-it-all and be puffed up like, yes, I'm this Bible scholar and I know all of these things, but ultimately the end goal is to have that knowledge, not only to serve others and serve the church by being able to teach and share with other people, but also said so that we as individuals can grow in our faith. And so I love that she made those connections and brought that up because it is something that there are many people out there who don't choose to dive deeper and to enrich themselves in all of the many resources that we have that can provide that knowledge and we can grow in intellect so yeah and um and i think if if you're going on youtube and you're watching people's videos you are probably somebody who is striving to seek the truth and to learn more about our faith and so i applaud you for that and youtube has been something so helpful to me and not just about learning about our faith from a defensive standpoint of explaining why we believe the things that we do, but also I love watching some of the other real life people living out their vocations and being able to see everything applied in action in, in the way that people are integrating liturgical living into their life. So that's something that's been such an encouragement and awesome thing for me. And again, I'm not perfect with it. I grew up having different traditions and I think many of us did, but now there seems to be this shift and this movement to think, hey, let's be intentional with our lives and what we're doing and not just do stuff for the sake of following along. And not that tradition is bad, but if we are going to be doing traditions, realizing why we're doing these traditions, how they originate, so at least we're knowledgeable about 
what it is we're doing. And so I love that people are just thirsting for the truth right now. That's such an amazing thing. Yeah, so I really enjoyed that St. Faustina brought this concept up years ago and it is still so applicable now. That's amazing. So thank you all for watching this video. If you have any resources or YouTubers or any particular site or person or podcast, anything that has helped you grow in your intellect and grow in knowledge of our faith that has helped you. I would love to hear those suggestions and ideas for everybody down below. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.